Hi there, this is Jaron Lexo from ProSite Tutorials, and today I'm going to talk about Canvas.com. This is a website a platform that I found recently because uh, since I have multiple uh, YouTube channels, uh, I always used before uh, Photoshop to do most of the thumbnails and the channel art for my YouTube channels, but I wanted to find a, a quicker way for me to make thumbnails and all of the images that I needed. So I searched online and I found this pretty cool platform and this platform allows you to do channel art, the thumbnails and also you have other options and most of this platform you can use pretty much for free even though there are some features that you actually need to pay for. It's really up to you if you want to pay for uh, some of these features. Anyway, today I'm going to talk about canvas.com. I'm basically going to uh, give it, you a review a tutorial and show to you how you can really quickly do a uh, impressive thumbnails for your YouTube channel using this platform so I will uh, you have a link right below in the description from this video you can click on it so you can go to their front page which is this one uh, the re registration process is pretty straightforward I'm, I'm not going to explain how you can do that anyway you can see that they have a pretty pretty awesome design over here with a really cool effect I really like this once you enter this is the first page that you will be able to see you can see that the last thumbnail that I did for actually for my last video which is the seven figure cycle review you can see that I used this platform for this thumbnail and once you enter you will be able to see the designs that you already did and also saved of course if you're starting out you won't have any designs made over here but you can click over here on more so you can see all of the different templates that you can use they have plenty of different templates that you can use even for flyers and you have a lot of things but you want to go to social media and email headers and you can see over here that you have for example for a Facebook event cover, uh, YouTube channel art, which is exactly this art over here, even though I used Photoshop for this one, but you can use this platform so you can create your YouTube channel art. And in this case, if you want to do a thumbnail, you just click on this option, but I'm going to um, YouTube channel art. Basically, once you choose this design, you can see that you have immediately the right sizes that you need to have over here so you can choose one of these templates and basically you can see that most of them are free even though there are some of them that you you may need to pay for so you can use especially the the images I think the design you don't need to pay but some of the images if you want to use those you need to pay for them but you can see that you have a lot of different options over here that you can use and basically all you need to do is just drag and drop they have this drag and drop system that you can use it's pretty simple and there you go then you can change the the font over here and so on but I'm going to actually do um, a YouTube thumbnail using this uh, this software so I selected this and this immediately gives me the the right sizes for my thumbnail and you can see that you have a lot of different options. You have plenty, plenty of different templates that you can use. Of course, you can, once you choose one of them, you can play around with the, the template and change some of these options, including the, the fount. But you can see that you have plenty of impressive thumbnails that you can use. And that is really the simplicity of using uh, canvas.com because once I was using Photoshop I if I wanted to make a thumb uh, thumbnail first I needed to have the need I needed to know the right sizes for my thumbnails even though that's quite simple but also I needed to do this design and in this case basically all you need to do once you choose one is just drag and drop over here basically to the canvas or whatever you call this I guess they call this a canva and I really like this this uh, this design that they have over here. as you can see the images are block uh, but you can get other images that you can uh, put 
over here. So you can delete all of these images just like this. And actually, I'm going to delete this over here. Let's say that uh, I'm going to delete some of these options over here. But I'm just going to show to you quickly how you can use the several options here. So this is the over here, this line. I don't need this. So once you, I click on one of these options, you can see that I can pretty much uh, change the font. This is pretty much like any test editor. If you had used any other test editor, you can see that it's pretty much similar. You can change to another font family if you want. You can increase the sizing of your font. You can also change the color of your font. And if you want more colors, you just click on this plus sign and you basically can choose whatever color you want. You can make your test bold. Of course, you need to select everything for you to be able to do that. You can also change, um, you can align to the left side. So the pretty much the, the standard options that you need. You can give more spacing between your letters, align height. You can also change that. And also you have some effects that I'm going to show uh, later on uh, for your images. Anyway, you can see that it's pretty simple for you to use this. In this case, I'm just going to to uh, delete uh, this option, this layer or whatever they call this over here. So I'm just going over here and I select the trash can so I can delete it. Now, if you want the images, I recommend for you to go to Pixabay dot com this is a really really good website you can find very impressive images completely free with no copyrights i always recommend for you to use no copyright images because if you start using copyright images someday you may go to your youtube channel and one of your videos probably is just penalized for having copyright images or or music or whatever never use copyright uh, images, music, anything like that. So you go to pixabay.com. Once again, you have the link right below on the description from this video. And over here on the search box, you write whatever uh, type of images that you want to find inside of Pixabay. So let's say that I want to make a, I want to make a thumbnail for a diet, uh, diet YouTube channel. So I go over here, and I just insert diet and I just press over here enter so I can search images so you can see that I get a bunch of images of uh, of healthy food actually the ice cream is not that healthy but it's still here uh, you can see that I can find a lot of different images actually this for um for a diet thumbnail it's not exactly what I was looking for so I'm going to try fitness and see what I can find over here so you have some really good images as you can see some pretty good images quite attractive so if I had like a, a YouTube channel let's say uh, related to fitness uh, weight loss and so on I could find over here a lot of different images to use and I'm actually going to try and find let's say this image over here so I'm going to just go over here and do um, a download of this image just like this and then I'm going to going back again so I because I need three images for this thumbnail let's say this one so I can do this quite quickly and also do a download and actually if you want to use the biggest sizes over here which is this one you need to log in and actually have a ca an account with Pixabay, which is something that is quite simple, quite quick. You don't need to waste much time doing account with them. But you can see that actually I'm not certain what I did over here. Okay, so now I'm just I just need one last image, and actually this is uh, seems the connection is a bit slow at the moment, so I'm having a bit of a hard time just searching for images so I'm going to find another one and let's say this one over here because it has a grow actually this one over here is better for this because let's say this is a thumbnail related to fitness and this looks pretty good this image so now I have three images 
and what I'm going to do and you can you will see how easy it is for you to make a thumbnail once you have the images basically all you need to do is you go to this section that says uploads and once you go to this section you just upload all of the images that you need so I'm going over here to my computer and I'm going to upload all of this images that I just got as you can see so once you have your images uploaded what you want to do is basically drag and drop them to the right spaces over here so that's exactly what I'm going to do let's put this guy over here uh, let's put this guys over here and let's put the the girl running over here. actually I'm going to flip this because you cannot see her uh, exactly well this way so you just select the image you go over here to this option that says flip and you can see that you can easily flip the image just like this and it looks pretty good actually I'm going to try to flip this one and see if it looks if it looks better and you can see that you can pretty much very easily do a thumbnail this way and also you have some special effects that you can put to each individual image if you want you just select on it you go over here to the filter option and you can see that you can use some of these different filter filters if you want like this one this is a another filter you can use other ones you have epic so you can also have a uh, black and white you can increase the intensity of your image the color of your image you can make it a bit blur sometimes this is quite useful for some of the images so people will focus more on the test that you have over here but in this case I'm actually not going to do this I'm just going to leave this image uh, without blur so I'm going to put this to zero and I'm going to change the um, over here this let's say this one see how it looks like um you have a, a lot of options you just need to play around with the, the the several options that you can find over here and once you you get used to these options you you can i mean you can very quickly do thumbnails that look pretty good you can always select another uh template for this you don't need to use the same one that i'm using at the moment <clears throat> so you can use another one actually i'm selecting the the wrong image at the, at the moment it's this one that I want okay so that is done over there so the thing that I'm going to do now is I, I'm actually going to increase a bit the sizing over here of this this uh, circle I'm going to center it as you can see I can easily position things just using my mouse and I'm going to change the color of this circle to another color let's say um, actually black let's try black over here and I'm going to change the font so I'm going to select this font and I'm going over here to font family and let's try another font because I like to have font that is especially for thumbnails it's you need to have fonts that are very easy for people to read uh, so let's try Aiton I actually like this font let's say I'm going to say call this uh, fitness and I'm just going to increase the font a bit so people can easily read it once they are seeing the small thumbnail inside of YouTube and let's put another color for this so I'm going to put a, let's say yellow because that is a very bold color and as you can see now I'm just going to change the this this downline over here or this subtitle or whatever you want to call it let's say 12 tips um, 12 tips for you to lose 20 to gain let's say 12 tips for you to gain massive amounts uh, of muscle <laughs> something like this okay something like this this is just I'm just doing this quite randomly so you can see that I can change the the font over there so I'm going to just increase the the font just a bit and 
I'm going to increase the, the spacing over here because I want this just like this. And I'm just going to position this right below. And you can see that I have a pretty impressive thumbnail already. And if you want to get some extra elements to add to your thumbnail, you can go over here to Elements. And you can choose one of these elements. Let's say, actually it's not grids that I want, it's lines. So I'm going to choose over here a line. Let's say this line over here so I can put this in the center. At the moment it's way too big. So I'm going to decrease the, the sizing a bit. Just do this so I can have a, a small separator. And just position over here on the center just like this. And this is just an idea of what you can do. But you can see that uh, it's very simple for you to do stuff that looks pretty impressive when it comes to thumbnails and I've been using this uh, platform recently for most of my thumbnails because of its simplicity so over here you have several options I recommend for you to check them out one by one and just play around with the several options because it's all pretty simple it's all pretty much this uh, a drag and drop system that you need to use as you may see <clears throat> and that is pretty much all that you need to do. So you can, if you have a particular design that you like, you just need to go over here and I recommend for you to save it so you can use for other thumbnails. And you just do that. You can also change the, the template. If you don't like it, you can change to another template. You just need to drag and drop another template. And once that is done, all, all you need to do is just download this to your computer. Download this to your computer. And then pretty much you just go to your YouTube channel, you upload your video, and where you can see custom thumbnail, you just upload the image that you did over here. And it's pretty simple. As you can see, canvas.com is a pretty impressive software, a pretty impressive platform. I recommend for you to check it out if you want to do impressive thumbnails for your YouTube channel, channel art. You, you also have other options as I, I already showed to you. Anyway, that is all for this video. Leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions related to canvas.com, leave it right below. I'll try to reply to you as soon as possible. That is all for now. Stay tuned with Pro Tutorials and bye.